Hello, Kingdom Hall. Hi. Um, I I was just reading some stuff on your website. I just had a quick Bible question. I was wondering if someone could help with. Oh, sure. Oh, okay. Sure. Well, yeah. it really um, jumped out at me when I was reading in the Bible that's on there um, from John three sixteen. Uh, where it says instead of believing, it's change it to exercise faith. Okay, yeah. Which kind of, to me, connotates a completely different thing. You know, when you say exercise, you think of a flurry of human activity. Um, yeah. Whereas yeah. when I look up the word believing um, in a concordance and word studies, um, yeah, it means to think to be true or to be persuaded of and to place confidence in and in many scriptures, believing is contrasted with any works that you would do on your own. So I was just wondering, it's such an unusual expression. Um, why did they Why did they make it um, seem to connotate a flurry of human activity? You know, instead of trusting in, relying upon, pistuo is the word. And it's kind of what it means. Yeah, the um, that that expression, exercise uh, mm-hmm. faith. Um, it requ- would require us to uh, to take action. Um, that's mm. likely the reason that it, it's not just 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 having like a belief in something. Uh, it would require additional mm. um, di- additional activity that, that that would that would require someone to take action. So it's more of an action word, and and mm. and a lot of a lot of time went into the the translation, the New World Translation. Um, to make sure that it was as accurate as possible, you know. But that's a great question you had. Yeah, but, I mean, really, but you said the really ac- yeah, you said the accuracy of it. Um, when you yeah, look up very. the word pistuo, it, it does not seem accurate, actually. Um, oh, okay. what, what do you think about like Romans four five? It says, "But to the one who does not work, but believes in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is reckoned as righteousness." So. That's actually contrasting it with works as the, not that believers don't change their life, but if the basis of your being redeemed or reconciled to God is your own flurry of activity, then you'll never have peace with God because you'll never know if it's like really enough, you know? Yeah. What, um, what is your name? Christine. Oh, uh, Christine. Yeah. Um, we, I mean, I'd be happy to, uh, sit down and discuss some of those mm-hmm. things my wife well, my wife uh yeah i don't think i live i don't think i live close enough to there but oh, um, i was just well, wondering well, I, what you thought about yeah. romans 4 5 which says to the one who does not work but believes in him who justifies see the justifying is done by god he justifies the ungodly you know not rewards the uh good people but justifies the ungodly by faith his faith is reckoned as righteousness, which is such cool, you know, good news. Yep, absolutely. I agree with you on that. Hmm. I agree with you on that. Uh, have you looked at our website? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they teach yeah. really that you're not justified by faith, but by activities relating to the society. That's what I'm getting out of it. Oh, uh, no, no, it's, mm-hmm. it's, uh, that's not the case. Hmm. Um but that everybody has their own uh, interpretation of of that, you know. It's mm. not. Um, well, it's I, not, it's one not thing I saw that. on the website was that um, one of the reasons for preaching is to ensure your own salvation. So how could you say they don't connect uh, your works, your effort with eternal life and justification? Yeah. It's not an yeah, emotion no, I'm, I'm pre- having. It's uh, not yeah. really that hard to understand. It's very clear. Yeah, the pre- the preaching work is really to help people. It's not really uh, for self uh, self salvation. At That's all. what it says. That's what it says in the Kingdom Ministry, June 2012. It's one reason for preaching to ensure your own salvation. Yeah, that's a, that's 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 you know, um, it's more of a uh, you might you might want to call that a a a, a, a side product of that or a. Uh, extra benefit you get from doing that but our, our our mission is is to go out and help people and help teach them that's why we that's why we uh have our uh, information over 800 languages to try to reach people all, all the earth with different right faiths, and to ensure your own salvation but here in romans well, 4 or 5 a, it says that's a that's a byproduct of that 
It's well, that no, that's a, uh, that's actually a very scary uh, tactic to make people believe that is to ensure your own salvation. Um, you know, you keep trying to yeah. interpret that, but it completely denies Romans four five, Romans five one, Romans three, Romans ten, Ephesians two eight nine. For you have been saved through faith, not by works. So I was just trying to figure out how that all goes together. Doesn't seem to yeah, really fit you, the Bible because they say the Bible is their basis, you know. Yeah, the uh, it it really depends. It really, you know, when you when you when you sit down and you and you study the Bible. This, yeah, it, I have. It, it, mm-hmm. it, yeah, it's not, it's, it sounds like you really have a, a lot of a, a really good Bible knowledge, and mm-hmm. certainly do uh, appreciate. Just you know, talking about this. You know, here. to me, it would like be so sad because my peace and joy comes from the ground or basis of eternal life being what Christ has done for me. Because otherwise, I'd always have this creepy feeling like maybe I'm not doing good enough or I didn't do enough, and. It's like this like peace and joy that wells up inside of you when you know that it's apart from your own effort. And so to me, that's really sad. It's kind of like uh, associating eternal life with activity related to the society. It's very foreign to me from the Bible, you know. Were you previously a Jehovah's Witness? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. I was curious what your yeah. what your faith is. Do you have does that uh, does that you? ever affect your peace and joy, or are you just confident no. that in yourself that you you are obeying God's commands? I saw that was another requirement in one of their articles yeah. to obey God's commands. It's like, wow, I don't even know if I do that for like an hour straight. If you really think mm-hmm. about all the things Jesus said, how he expanded yeah. upon God's commands, um, my thoughts, forgiving everybody. I mean, I don't know. I I just would always worry I'm going to be destroyed because the peace no. and joy of knowing Christ is so amazing. Like, it it, is. His it righteousness is. is attributed to us, and our sins are attributed to Him. And I'm not really seeing that in the gospel on on the JW dot org. I'm seeing more of a Watchtower Works yeah. kind of system. It's really depressing. I mean, it's really incredible. Well, we we use a, a bunch of uh, other translations too that to kind of look at. We don't just use one, but we have, uh, you know, we we have references that in our JW.org. If you look at the, there's actually a, a number of Bible translations that we use together with it. So it's not just, we don't pull out the words and try to try to make it uh, mm. by literally in mm. many cases. So a lot of it's context, Christine. You know. Um, Oh, yeah, they don't really, I've noticed that at the Kingdom Hall, they don't really, um, it's just all like little one-verse references, and if you look up the context of some of them, it's actually not really what it's talking about, so they don't really seem to go through even any lengthy passages verse by verse, you know, it's kind of... Have you been to a Kingdom Hall recently? Um, It's been a while. I'm trying to think when the last time I went. Maybe, oh, I went to the memorial, because I got invited. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Yeah, that was, um, yeah, if if you go to a regular, like, uh, uh, meeting on, on, like, a weekend, um, Mm. or, or like, uh, like on a Sunday, you, you would see the... Depending on the on the talk that's given, it's um, it's Bible based, um, of course, and usually the scriptures are read in a way that that the whole context is brought out. Sometimes full, whole whole chapters are are, uh, are covered. Mm. In the, in oh the no, talk, I know. know. I've been to a couple of meetings on any day of the week. I've never noticed that. I mean, do they have any verse yeah. by verse commentaries? Where you know, it just seems yeah, like absolutely. it's these articles with using little proof verses. To me, that's just kind of what it seems. And also, you know what else I noticed? They use some verses like over and over and over again while not using some other ones at all. It's very unusual. Wow. Uh, I'm like, wow, how many times can you say, obey the faithful slave? I mean... Can can you imagine they're writing this stuff? They they are the faithful slaves, so it's kind of like somebody writing to you saying, "You must obey us to have eternal life." Like, where do you ever yeah, wonder that about sound, that? That's, that's very not, disturbing. That's not, okay, no, it's a, it's it's not something that we um, 
that that we that we believe in that part what you just said. We don't. Uh, Oh. We don't put our, put our faith in it. That's not that's not where our faith is. And then, uh, well, they had this they had this cover on one of the watchtowers that said, "Put faith um, in a victorious organization." I'm like, what? Yeah, no, <laughs> that was faith, interesting. Faith, that was on the cover. Faith, yeah. Yeah, our faith is in our God, Jehovah. Yeah, it, it said it said put. Also, yeah. it they said, "Come to Jehovah's organization for yeah. salvation." Yeah. And it said well, also. I, I, there's probably a lot that there's probably a lot of things that you have um, there with you that, unfortunately, I don't. I don't. I'm just kind of stopped in here to use the restroom. Okay. So <laughs> caught you a little. Caught you a little unexpectedly there, huh? Yeah, but that's a, that's a, that's okay. Um, yeah, you guys I, do I, that I, a lot. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I if you think possible. about it. But hey, a great website is called TowerWatch.com. It talks more about um, Christ and salvation and stuff yeah. like that. Okay, thanks for talking. Thanks. God bless thanks. you. Thanks the, okay. Thank you for the call. Christine. God bless. Okay. See ya. Okay, thank you so much.